Welcome to Best Life presented by Cigna. I'm your host, Carly McGuire. Animal wellness is at the heart of what we do here at Denver Zoo, making sure each one of our 3,000 animals is healthy, well-fed, and stimulated throughout the day, which is why enrichment is such a big priority for our animal wellness team. We even have a position dedicated to it. I'm Heather Genter. I am the Behavioral Husbandry Manager. So I primarily oversee the training and enrichment program for all of the animals and keepers. You can see enrichment all over Denver Zoo every day. Whether it's Mahali's Boomer Ball or a cardboard fort made out of boxes for our lions. Um, it's really anything, any process we use to get our animals behaving like they would in the wild. Animals and human care get all of their physical needs met so they don't have to hunt, fight, or forage for food and survival. But some of those behaviors are still natural, which is why we encourage our animals to look for their food and physically engage with enrichment items. It keeps them active and healthy. It keeps their minds working, keeps that mental health going. But there are some animals that are harder to enrich than others. Hyena are a tricky animal to enrich. They are one of my favorite animals because they are so smart. They're also one of the strongest carnivores out there. They have a bite strength that is compared to no other. Hyena are so strong, they can be destructive at times. Frederick used to have some sprinkler systems that would come up at night. Our hyena, our older clan, uh, would go through and pick out those sprinkler heads and uh, destroy them and, and leave them on the ground for the keepers the next morning. So we can't give them the same type of enrichment that we would give our African lions or our African wild dogs. The vast 90% of this is all going to the lions. But that doesn't mean our hyenas get any less enrichment. Our keepers just have to be more creative. So thinking about some of those things and, and being creative uh, is definitely a great team bonding moment. Uh, and we definitely have a lot of fun with that as well. Our keepers rely on things like scent enrichment, scattering food in unique ways, bubble baths, and some toys that can stand up to the strongest carnivores. Keepers also have to think about the individual animal. Not all four of our hyena are going to enjoy the same enrichment items all the time. Kalele especially, his favorite thing, if you ever come here and you see a hyena sleeping in a box, it is more than likely Kalele. For whatever reason, he absolutely loves sleeping in cardboard boxes. And when keepers figure out an enrichment that works for an animal, I think for us, it's the sense of relief and the sense of like, we are doing our jobs uh, to the best of our ability and we're doing a great job for our animals. I mean, there's nothing like that moment when you see Ngozi, our adult female spotted hyena, when she gets a new toy that she absolutely loves. Enrichment is just one of the amazing things we can do for our animals that is great for their health, fun for the keepers, and a delight for guests. And it's another way that we're making sure animals here at Denver Zoo are living their best life. See you next time.